What's up guys welcome to a new video and today we have the hellcat durango me personally i honestly really like the way this looks i don't know let me comment down below do you like the track hawk looks or do you like the durango looks better i don't know this front end is pretty aggressive the track hawk looks good maybe because i've just seen the track hawk so much longer i think it came out like 2018 or something like that one of those years i don't know i kind of like the durango the durango rts look good this thing has a really a high horsepower engine swap this durango is making 1700 horsepower 1400 foot pounds of torque it weighs 4200 pounds so a stock hellcat weight the thing has pretty good potential but the thing that's gonna hurt it is uh you know the brick nature of it you know not very aerodynamic but when you got a horsepower you should suffice that a little bit but with that being said let me show you the tune higher pressure front and rear 15 gearing final drive 2.20 first gear 4.71 second gear 3.18 third gear 2.40 fourth gear 1.90 5th gear 1.54, 6th gear 1.28, 7th gear 1.08, 8th gear 0.93. Alignment, camber, front and rear 0, toe front and rear 0, angle caster 7, any roll bars all the way shift front and rear, springs front and rear all the way down, ride height all the way up, dampening, rebound stiffness front 2.2, rear 4, Bump stiffness, front 9.9, .9, rear 1.7. Nothing in arrow, braking as put at 75%. Differential, front acceleration 100, deceleration 0. Rear acceleration 100, deceleration 0. I put my center balance at 70. Now let me show you the share tune code. The two names called Car Things Drag. The share tune code is 121-352-227. I'll also have the share tune code in the description. All right, let's do a burnout and do this quarter mile hit. So you want to launch this thing about 4500 RPM. And this thing launches so hard, does a mini wheelie. I didn't take that out of it. You're going to spin a tiny bit. So here we go. Boom, like that. That's how you want to shift this car. 177. Not too bad, considering how aerodynamic a loss it is. But I mean, I sipped here on horsepower. So, I mean, I think the really brick nature really hurts it a lot. But as you can see with the launch, I did not get a little wheel spin out of it because if I did, it will bog. Sometimes spinning is a little bit faster than just straight gripping up and then bogging down. So with that being said, let's see what we can do in the half mile. Same thing around 4,500 RPM. Do a hit. Two oh two. It reached a two hundred mark. For considering how aerodynamically limited this is, I'll take it. I mean, if it breaks two hundred, two hundred is like as fast. So I mean, you can beat decent amount of cars with this thing, and you can take your whole family with you also. But thanks for your watching. If you watched to the end of the video, comment down Hellcat. I know you watched the whole video. If you haven't yet, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to know the top five fastest drag cars in the game, I put a card in my video where I show you the top five fastest drag cars in the game, and I tell you how I got to that conclusion. And also, if you want to learn how to tune like me or learn how to tune in general, I have a how to tune video. I put up in the card above that I tell you how to tune all wheel drive and rear wheel drive tuning. I tell you the stuff that people won't tell you, the secrets people won't tell you. And one thing I give in there is the troubleshooting information. If there's a problem that I did not explain in that video, either comment on this video or comment on that video so I can help you out. Or if you want direct contact with me, throw my Discord link in the description so you can text me directly on my Discord to help you from there. But thank you. That's it for me. Appreciate y'all so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.